it's easy to forget how radically new an idea America is. The founding fathers invented a new form of government. All previous forms of government had concentrated power into the hands of the state at the expense of the individual. Theocracy placed power into the hands of priests and popes who, as spokesmen for the supernatural, were to be obeyed without question. Monarchy placed power into the hands of a king or a queen whose subjects lived and died by the ruler's edicts. Aristocracy placed power into the hands of a hereditary elite who trampled on members of the lower classes. Democracy placed power into the hands of the majority who could do whatever they wished to the minority. In all these systems, recalcitrant individuals were dealt with in the same way. They were greeted with the instruments of physical compulsion, with imprisonment, torture, death. The priests placed Galileo under house arrest and born, burned Bruno at the stake. The king beheaded Thomas More. The aristocrats trampled upon the individual peasants en masse, sometimes to literally, so that literally they could bathe in the peasants' blood. The Athenian democracy ordered Socrates to drink hemlock. To all such outrages, the founding fathers said no more. They devised a political system that placed power into the hands of the individual at the expense of the state. The individual, they declared, possesses the inalienable rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The government does not stand above the individual as his master. The government stands below the individual as its servant. To secure these rights, Jefferson wrote in the Declaration of Independence, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. And if a government trespasses on the rights of the individual, quote, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to institute new government, close quote. Now in the Declaration, the Founding Fathers were of course declaring independence from Great Britain. But more deeply, they were declaring independence from priests and from kings, from aristocrats and from the will of the majority. They were creating a sanctuary for individuals, for individuals with unbowed minds, for the Galileos and the Socrates of the world, who were now to meet with a different fate.